I think I got it. Good morning, I'm the girl boss. Hi. Uh, I'm the girl boss. I write the girl book and equipment guide. I'm sitting here in my store, Henderson Hydroponics, which technically is now an outside store. That's out back of my store now. Customers can roll on up out back of the store. Is it? Is it? The camera's froze in the last 30 seconds. God damn it. I just had it. Because Chuck's back there waving at you guys. So I figured you guys probably want to see it. Hey, do it again. What about the Canon camera right here? No, that one's, we, that one's, it's just the back of everything. Oh, there's Ralph looking for a treat. I hide his treats up and down the alley out back. Well, only down the alley now. I don't do it up the, <laughs> I don't do it up the alley anymore because we got tweakers. <laughs> we got tweakers. No. That's funny. Hey, would you uh, would you turn would you turn that TV just a little for me, please? I'm sorry. Would you turn the TV for me a little? Oh, we got a customer. Okay, go get. No. Oh. Just put me in the center. Okay. That should be good. Perfect. Well, I don't throw the stick down to the tweakers. I don't throw Ralph's pizzle down to the tweakers. Because, you know, why tempt them? Uh, but, you know, you know, we've been watching YouTube. Columbus we, left. Oh, Columbus left? Yeah. He's off to discover some other, some other parking lot. I'm trying to figure out a good... Columbus, no, he just discovered our parking lot last night. Right. On the way in today, there was a guy sleeping in front of Bartan's door. Yeah, he, had his, he had his arm... I shut my car door real quietly. Didn't he, he didn't want to wake him, him up. <laughs> he had his like arm through the wheel of the, you know, of the bike so no one could steal in the middle of the night. It was like he, uh, it was like he just rode until he couldn't ride no more. And then just lay down and went to sleep over by Vartan. What am I smoking today? Uh, it is Scott's Marijuana. Oh, no, no, no. It's M. Jardine Scott's OG 7G, which I'm assuming is we got a quarter. Even though Chuck only told me we got four grams and the bag says seven. You even marked it with blue things on the floor. Are you in the zone? Oh, you got it. We got it. Okay, hang on a sec. If you're in your zone, then I got it. Then, then I got it. It's my turn. Boom. <laughs> That's the internet. Chuck, you're on the internet. You are on. Um, freedom and marketing. Uh, Friedman Marketing asks a reasonable question. Have been wondering on the T5 bad boys, how do you deal with the heat on that light? Um, let's remove T5 bad boys from the equation. How are you going to deal with the heat from any light? All light is heat. All light is heat. Uh, I, the electricity you use at the wall is heat. So you tell me, how do you expect to deal with the heat in your garden? from whatever light you buy. You see my point, Freedom? How do you expect to deal with the heat? Because the T5 lights are amongst the lowest heat producing lights that you can buy. I don't care how much you think you spend, the T5 lights are the best, the best dollar per watt light on the market. T5s, T5, the four foot, not the two foot. The two foot suck ass. The four foots are phenomenal. I do have mega meters in stock. I've got a few right here. I got a whole bunch more back here on this shelf. Tons of meters. Well, no, a T5 light is not LED. So when you look at a T5 light, it works by taking the electrons surrounding the protons and the neutrons and energizing them such that they rise to a higher outer shell. Then, 
when the electricity on that particular photon stops, the electrons drop back down to their normal orbital shell and emit a photon. So they absorb energy and increase their diameter of the gas, of the electrons on the gas. Then when you remove it, and you don't have to shut the light off, they're just zapped intermittently. Boom, releases a photon. That's T5. Um, a diode, what? Uh, you know what I mean? It's just electricity connected in a gas that instead of having to heat the gas, you use the gas to change the color, but essentially you're going from light, you're going from electricity to light without having to heat up a gas. So even this T5 heats up a gas. Uh, HPS light or a double-ended light, they heat up gas. They're incandescent, whether it's the old style screw-in or it's a thousand watt single or double end. It's an incandescent bulb that heats up a gas to produce the light. Where this is a heat as a byproduct of exciting the electrons, uh, a incandescent with the you know with the with the filament in it is straight heats up a gas. Okay. LED doesn't require any of that. However, any electricity at the wall is heat. And converting electricity into light, even if you do it super efficiently, it all makes heat, my friend. It all makes heat. I don't care what light you buy. I don't care what style you buy. I don't care what wattage you buy. It all makes heat converting electricity into light. And then there's the light. The light is heat too. When it impacts the plant, the light is heat as well. So all we're doing is converting electricity into heat, of which some of that heat humans can see. Most of that heat humans cannot see because it's outside of our perception range. Uh, no, electricity doesn't make heat. Using electricity, converting it into energy makes heat. Jason with the light rail. If you want to get in on one of the raffles, see electricity at your wall doesn't make any heat. It's converting electricity into energy that does. Doing work, work. Okay, if you wanna see what's in the raffle, go to my homepage, DougGrowBoss.com. Click on raffle, it'll take you to the raffle page. And, and let's see, that's seven, six, what do we got? Okay. So for the light rail raffle, uh, for the light rail raffle, I just got you, Jason. Jason T, I got yours for the light rail raffle. It is 1010 light rail raffle. Well, I think there's uh, six more left. Okay, I started numbering them all so I could keep track. Yeah, there's like six more left. Okay. Yeah, six more left. Okay. So that's for the light rail light mover, Jason. <clears throat> Um, uh, thank you, Jasper. Can you get T5 in 600 watts? Okay, let's do the T5 lesson. I have T5s here on my site right here. Okay. Let's just do T5s. I'm tired of making fun of everyone anyway. I'm not really tired of it. Okay. These are T5 lights, and this is all in the grow book and equipment guide, all under lighting. That's why it's grow book and equipment guide. Okay. A two foot T5 like this is 25 watts and it's 2000 lumens. A four foot T5 is 50 lumens, 50 watts and 5000 lumens. This is, this is two foot. 2,000 lumens, 25 watts. That's four foot, 5,000 lumens, 50 watts. So let's be very clear about this. It is twice as long and it is two and a half times brighter. That means that this light, that light, that four foot eight bulb, any four foot, you know, tube puts out five times the light, five times as much light as this 
for only half the electricity. Now, an, an increase. We only see that in one other place. And the one other place we see that is when you go from a 400 to a 600 watt HPS light. So a 400 watt HPS light is 40,000 lumens. A 600 watt HPS is 100,000 lumens. And a 1,000 watt HPS is 140,000 lumens. Okay, so you go from 40,000 to 100,000 lumens from 400 watts to 600 watts. So for 50% more electricity, you get two and a half times more light. So why does everybody always buy 1,000 watt lights of 600 watts are so efficient? Oh, you get a gram of watt. Why does everybody buy 1,000 watts of 600 watts are the most efficient? Simple, because as long as you're going to do this, you might as well get two pounds instead of one pound. I mean, if you're going to do this, the price of the bulb, the ballast, and the hood does not change between a 600 watt and a 1,000 watt. You can go on eBay and a 600 watt bulb ballast hood will be the same price as a 1,000 watt bulb ballast hood. So it really doesn't matter which one you buy. And once you put it somewhere, it really doesn't matter if you put it in a 4x4 or a 5x5 tent. I mean, a 4x4 four four tent's 100 bucks. a 5x5 five five tent's 120 So the lights cost the same and the tent's 20 bucks more. You guys spend so much money killing your plants with expensive LEDs that I don't give a shit what you think about efficiency. Don't give a shit what you think about, I'm going to save so much money in the long run. 99% of you fail and 100% and of you are out in six months selling your shit on eBay and Amazon and, I mean, eBay and Craigslist <laughs> and Backpage. No, not Backpage. God damn it. Uh, is it Backpage? I don't know. Uh, okay. So, a four-foot T5 uses 50 watts. It's four feet long, and it puts out 5,000 lumens. This, bulb, this fixture right here is an eight-bulb T5. Eight times 50 is 400 watts. This is a 400-watt fixture. It's two feet wide by four feet long okay so it's eight square feet all right now if you go to my website canvas canvas cannabis.com and you scroll down here we're just going to look at some we're just going to look at some lights in a picture just so you can see a hood let me just catch any picture with a hood in it any one of these burnt ass gardens will do nicely okay see these these are hoods these are reflectors right okay it's the same reflector, whether you put a 600 watt or a thousand in it, the size of the reflector will be based on the height of your ceiling versus putting it on a light mover and increasing the length over width. Okay, if you have a 400 watt HPS light, it is 40,000 lumens. And it is an incandescent bulb, so it must heat up a gas. So not only does it use electricity and convert it to heat, it heats up the gas in the bulb. It's super fucking hot. Also, that hood is like 18 inches, by, you know, it's like 18 by 18, you know what I mean? It's like two and a half, three square feet, two, two square feet, two and a half, three square feet. It's not very big. If this 400 watt HPS light is 400 watts and 40,000 lumens and in something that's four square feet let's just say it's two by two which it's not it's four square feet 400 watts 40,000 lumens four square feet that means it is 10,000 lumens per square foot it is 100 watts of electricity per square foot okay now all you have to do is the same equation in eight square feet and now you have 5,000 lumens 50 watts per square foot why because this fixture is two by four and it's eight square feet it is the same amount of electricity 400 watts it is the same amount of light 40,000 lumens it is twice the area which means it is half the light that's why I tell you guys if you double your if you double the canopy they get half the light by definition
if you spread the light out over twice the area, it is half the light. There is no way of avoiding these simple truths. It's just math. Sorry. There's no way, if you live in reality, you know what I mean? If you live in like the real universe, <laughs> you know I mean? where there's consequences and there's, you know, lots of choices and decisions you have to make. What you'll find is that uh, it's that when you find, when you go to canvascanvascanvas.com and you look at this burnt canopy section and bad canopy, what everybody has is too much light. Oh, oh wait. And not enough canopy. There's, listen, when you say, what's the problem with your two-footers? I don't have a problem with your two-footers. I don't, I don't have a problem with your two-footers. All I'm saying is, it's that if you have to buy a four-foot, four-bulb T5, if you have to go, let's say you're going to go buy a four-foot, four-bulb T5, four-foot, four-bulb, right? 150, four-foot, eight-bulb, 210. So you get twice the light for a little more than 30%, you know, for 33% more, you double it. Because once you're paying shipping, once you're, you know what I mean? And that's, and that's four to eight bulb. When you go from a two foot to a four foot, you get five times the light. That's all. And, and it doesn't matter if you buy a four bulb and an eight bulb. You could put them right next to each other. You could buy a 12 bulb. None of those, none of that matters. Right? I mean, you could, none of it matters how many, how many, you just keep adding them, right? They're like in serial. No, they're in parallel. They're all just run right through there. Boom. You just keep adding on. Now, they're interestingly enough, interestingly enough, if you're looking for more bulbs and a little more density, let's say... Let's say, and, and these, these lights just, just, I mean, except for the 400 watt, a T5 never puts out as much light. So a T5 is like 20% less light than an HPS, but it's like 80% less heat. Now this one right here is interesting. This is an interesting light. I don't care about the manufacturer. However, that's a shitty picture though. In this picture, in this picture, there are two bulbs per reflector. This is a double lux. It is the same size. So if this is eight, ref, you know, eight little reflectors. You know, the reflector, the thing the bulb's in, right? The little, the little there's, you know, there's little individual ones in a T5. So if you there's like little pinches between them you know okay they have double the bulb but they did not double the width it may be a little bit wider but it is i mean it is only a little bit wider it is not close to being twice you know what i mean it is only a little bit so if you're looking for more bulbs you would always buy a double lux like this best thing like, if you want yield with a little less heat, but you may have to pay a little more in electricity, then there is no better light than you could buy than, like, than the, than the here. Than a 16 bulb, this, a 16 bulb double lux. This is a 16 bulb that will fit in a three by five tent. It will not fit in a two by four, but hey, even the eight bulb, there's only one tent that the four foot eight bulb fits in, and that is the two by four by five and a half on eBay. Let's see if I can catch one. It's a rare thing. See, this is the five by five, right? So we want, uh, we want two, no, we want 
24 by 48 by, oh, uh, God damn it, by 60 by 65. See, by 60, by six, two, no, I want 24 by 40 by 60. Let's just do 60. Okay, by 60, okay. So here you got the tenths by 60. But the height is 60. Now there is a two by four tent that's like 65. Somewhere on the market, there is this two by four tent that's 65. You know, whenever I find them, I usually buy like four or five or six, they come in. But the one that happens to be like, that happens to be like 66 also happens to be two inches wider the four the two by four is the inside of the tent the poles versus the outside it's the only one you really can't ever find it but whatever uh you wouldn't put the six you wouldn't put a 16 bulb in a two by four you would put the four by eight however you would put the 16 bulb in a three by five so if you went to if you went if you went to the grow boss you click on videos and we're gonna go to member section page, boom. Okay. Uh, I made a series of videos. And I very specifically did them. And you can go to my website, thegrowboss.com. The videos are 25 bucks. I think it's for like a year trellising uh, yeah Damn. super cropping troubleshooting getting started uh, I have one called one two three light okay no light rotations and yields it's probably it's probably in here It'll probably be in oh hi I'm the grow boss I write the grow book and equip and in this video I specifically want to address why I say it takes 400 watts to grow marijuana because okay I can probably find one where I'm more quiet than that uh, this is probably a good one I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And in this video, we're going to go over trimming. Okay. Now, in the behind me in this video, this one really got away from us. Oh. Um. Okay, let's. Uh, you play. Right. It got pretty fucking video I hate my server the video for my server sucks oh it's a lighthouse tent but you say lighthouse but listen there's a factory in China that just shits French tents tent. it just shits tents it shits tents with the name Jardine on them it shit it shits tents with the name gorilla on them it shits tents with whatever name vivo Sun it just shits tents.
Be oh my god, I hate my website service. Bah! <clears throat> Down here. And now suddenly our lights would have been further away. Okay. In. Nope, that's even worse. In. In both of these tents, oh, this one is a light on a mover for the video, but in this tent, there we go, in this tent on the right here, there is a bad boy. This thing here is a, this thing here is a Sun Hut 80. A Sun Hut 80. Um, when they, they said they were going out of these, I probably bought uh, 40 of them at some point. It is not any of these. It is certainly not that. Um, mine is a, mine is almost three by five. This is, oh, it's not a Sun Hut, that's why. I typed in Sun Hut, but I did not actually get a sun hut. It's it's the specifically from specifically from Hawthorne, which is now Scott's Miracle Grow. Woo, their stocks went up. Sun hut. Sun hut. Oh, there you go. 2.8 by 4.3. The Big Easy. That's what it's called. The Big Easy. The Sun Hut Big Easy. That thing is almost 3 by 5. And you could put a 12 bulb T5 in there. But not a 16 bulb. A 16 bulb would be in a 4 by 4 because you can't get enough yield in a 3 by 5. It's, it's just, you'd have to you'd have to put a 16 bulb in a three by five and the, it doesn't fit. So you're really going to get a little bit more than a two by four, but not as much as a four by four. You're going to get that three by five, which is closer to four by four than it is two by four. You know what I'm saying? Ah. <laughs> you understand what I, you understand. I just watched some news show where the mayor ends the thing with you understand. <laughs> we're going to rebuild Louisiana again you understand <laughs> yes I do that's not a recording what we're going to rebuild our Louisiana again oh yeah the Where thing flips down? over like this and then the new Louisiana <laughs> shows up Yes. Heat in the summer and it gets a little cold in winter sometimes. You live in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> it is a desert. We live right near Snoopy's uh, cousin. Uh, oh, Needles. Tom Needles. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's considered, so the, the T5s are 50 watts a bulb. So it's, uh, uh, the, 54. the, they're 54 watts. Sorry. They're 54, it's okay. No, no, they're 54 watts. If you add up 50 and 54 watts, adds up. Right, yeah, yeah, you go from 200 to 216. You go from 400 to 432. You're at 648. You're at 864, something like that. So you're at eight, I mean, it's 864 watts is the 16 bulb. But if you get a little less heat, if you get a little less light than a than the equivalent HPS, the 860 watt light, 700 watt, 750 watt, you know, worth of HPS light. So it's a little less than the HPS, a lot less heat, a little less light. So the, so you would need like 1100, 1200 watts of T5 light to get a thousand watt HPS. Well, a thousand watt, you know what? A thousand watt HPS is 140,000 lumens. So there you go. You would need uh, 28 
bulbs. Yeah, they need 28 bulbs. But I don't, I don't think it's, maybe, maybe it's straight across like that. But you can fill up a, you know what it probably is, because with a T5 you don't get as much penetration. So you might get the same area, but you won't get the same length of bud. That's probably where the rest of the yield is hiding. We, uh, we uh, locked up the store for a minute, went to go get new down stems because I broke the last one. But it doesn't fit. I didn't get the one with the knot. You know, you can't get the one that, the, the one that fits right in there because it gets stuck in there and you end up dropping it later anyway. But uh, they were five bucks each and I bought all the guy had. I bought three of them. I was like, listen, if you got more, I'll take those two. I'll just never come back again. Um... Okay, I let's see. I caught this video. What was this video? Oh, let's look at this. Look at this. Watch this. While we're on the topic of cough, uh, tell us about strawberry cough, the story behind strawberry cough. You're often associated, obviously, with, you know, closely associated with I have no idea who this guy cough is. Strain. Uh, sometimes I wonder where I would be without the strawberry cough. She's kind of my namesake. Give us some history on that. Um, the strawberry cough, wow, I just... Uh, so dramatic! The, the world thinks I made it, and I didn't create it. I definitely brought it to prominence. I uh, went to visit my friend who was uh, fronting me, you know, weed, quarter pounds of weed or half pounds of weed, whatever it was. And he says to me, I have a friend who's dying to meet you. I've been Kyle Cushman for all of a year. And he says, I have a friend who's been dying. Will you, will you please go over to his house? I said, sure, of course. And I get in his car and we drive across town over to his house. And he helps you And he you takes up. me down the basement, you got robbed. down the stairs to show me his garden. And exposed to me is really one of the saddest little gardens that I've ever seen. It was uh, the, the reflector, one of the reflectors was like kind of aluminum foil you know, around a floodlight and, you know, the pots where one was like a paint can and one was an oil drip can and one was a real plant bucket. And, you know, you know, you got to give it to the Huh. Huh. So the saddest garden he ever saw was about cheap buckets on the ground. Nothing about empty canopy or the condition of the plant. The guy, you know, he was, he was, he was doing it, using what he had to make it work. Yeah. And, and for the first time in my... I would like to point out to you the difference between a, a real grower and somebody that really knows what's going on and somebody that's new to the game. If you walked in somebody's room <clears throat> and you had experience and you noticed <laughs> the cans, that means that the plants look fantastic. Otherwise, you would have noticed the plants. So the plants look fantastic. So you're going to say, because his fantastic plants are grown in paint cans, that it was the saddest garden ever. Douche. Now, if you walked in the room and the plants were dead and you said it's the saddest garden I've ever seen because you're in buckets, douche. There is no way out of that story that doesn't leave you swinging in the wind. Because if you walked into a garden and you were new and you saw, you know, a, a plant you couldn't put your arm around in a paint bucket, you'd be like, oh my God, that is what? <laughs> you know what I mean? You'd be astounded because everybody on the internet thinks you have to spend money. So... His reaction can only, to that situation, can only be of someone that has no clue about the reality of the situation. Because I have very specifically told you, good growers only have two problems. Plants got too big for the light, girlfriends hate trimming. And, and growing in paint buckets has never been one of them illustrious one year career, I didn't really, I, 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 I didn't know what to say to the guy. It was, it was just too much. 
to go. So I excused myself pretty well, and and uh, I remember he had he when we were upstairs before we went in, he's like, you want to try this weed? It's, it's the strawberry cough. And he showed me this piece of weed. It was about the size of my pinky nail. He, and it was in a, he's like, I'm sorry, this is all. I'm sorry, this is a quarter I got. They're all buds. It's a flake. The plant flakes off. All the flakes break off the stem. For all you know, it could have been the apical break off. You know what I'm saying? All I have left, you know, yeah. it was like they, that's all they could manage to save before I came over and stuff. It was like this little <laughs> thing, thing. They right? It was they like it was like a hit. It. So they got so little yield, they smoked it before he got there. I don't. It was a hit, right? And uh, and so he, he he offered me to smoke it. Of course, I smoked it, but I couldn't of really course. judge it at all because I was already completely blasted. What do you? That's my point. How can you judge weed? It's all the fucking same. It's just gonna get you blasted. Oh, I had this last strain where I was tripping and seeing blues. So I didn't want to smoke something new because the last thing I wanted to do was feel itchy. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's the same fucking high. Yeah. And uh, so this so is your first exposure. This is my first exposure to the strawberry cough. And I just politely, yeah, that was good. And, and as I'm going up the stairs, he's like, hey man, he's like, you want a clone? And I turn around and in a, in a you know, right guy, you say, nah, not all strains are the same. I will, t I will prove to you that all strains are exactly the same. If you don't believe me, all you have to do is go to my website. All you have to do is go to my website, thegrowboss.com. Click on Grow Boss Challenges right there. It'll take you right here for 250 bucks. You bet 10 bucks. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Bet 10 bucks, I'll pay you 250 bucks to prove me wrong. I've already, I mean, no one's tried this. No one's paid me the 10 bucks for this particular argument. But I've already had this argument with everybody. What's your statement? Oh, my statement is simple. Here, I'll give you an example of what my statement is. Let me just give you, uh, we'll just open up paint here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line from here to here. From here to here, from here to here. I was gonna put this end right here and this end right here. And this will be indica and sativa, okay? Now, that is 100% indica and 100% sativa. Every strain, every hybrid, you have to decide where do hybrids start? Do hybrids start like let's say right here, unless it's pure, it's a hybrid. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I don't really care where you where you define it. All I'm saying is the space between ha uh, and ha uh, is finite. Therefore, whatever strains fit right in between those two lines. There is no infinite amount of strains. Therefore, every strain is constrained right in between those two lines. Therefore, you cannot go out the line. All we're talking about is how much separation. Do you know how much separation genetically there is between these two? These two plants are literally 99.98% genetically similar. Even dogs, from the smallest to the largest dog, is 99 point like 8% the same. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take this entire spread and you're going to divide it. Let's see, we'll have to do, I'm going to have to do math. You guys are going to probably, it'll probably be painful. You'll have to divide the range 0 0.02 divided by the range. So whatever you think the range is of those two, it is two pennies out of a hundred is the genetic difference. So you're gonna take two pennies out of a hundred, stretch it over that entire range, and then you're gonna tell me what. Now, <clears throat> now you're gonna tell me, oh my God, the highs are different. Okay, indica and sativa are different. But one, that's about the, they, that's about the, the CBDs and right CBGs. But 
as soon as you look at those, we're talking about like 0.02%. You know what I mean? Like two micrograms, 0 0.00 micros, 0.02%. 0.0002%. What I'm getting at is, you may think the high is different, but the plant itself, the, the difference of the two extremes is so tiny that the division, oh, you know, I'll, do, I'll give you an example. I'll give you, I'll give you another math example. The, every number can be divided in half for affinity. So if this is two feet away, it's one foot away, it's six inches away, it's three inches away, it's one and a half inches away. If you can always divide the number in half, how does the pen ever land on the table? It couldn't mathematically. So when you look at this picture, I just want you to understand that the pen hits the table. That there is, while there may be an infinite amount of, you know, point you can divide the length up and with an infinite amount eventually it comes to the point where it's who said it who, who who said yeah 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 the amount of choices available to you is infinite but the reality is there are only a few options that you could actually choose from yes i could go fly to isis right now and try to become a beetle no i could fake my accent yes I could try to become a beetle with ISIS, but it's not in the realm of what's really going to happen. So while there may be, oh, you can, I am, you know what I mean? I predict my own future. Okay. Yes, I suppose I could get on an airplane and go be a beetle with ISIS. But it's, but the, <laughs> the, the chance of it happening is, is still bigger than the chance of your two, whatever the fuck you think strains are being different. And once you understand how similar the two extremes are, I mean, these, the distance between, the distance between here and here, between the extremes is two pennies on a dollar. You wouldn't pick it out of a change machine. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's worthless. It was like the time... Who was it? Who's, who's, oh, lone villain. Oh, I'm going to prove the grow boss wrong. I'm going to prove the grow boss wrong. Heavy metals. Bow in your plant. Bow heavy metals. What are you going to do? The guy literally starts every one of his shows lighting up a cigarette, drinking a coffee. You know what I mean? And he's going to talk about heavy metals? Like, who cares? The amount of heavy metals that you're going to get in with any nutrient as long as the correct amount of nutrients is infinitesimal compared to the amount of cholesterol in a burger the chance of you getting in a car crash and dying right the chance of you stepping on cancer falling and landing on and having to get stuck in your butt the chance of you getting corona from touching something and putting it in your eye is exactly dick compared to apparently a bunch of white folks sitting together in an area with no mask because you can put a bunch of everybody together marching down the street and nobody gets it. You can put them all on the beach in Florida and nobody gets it. But you sit their ass down and even at an outdoor event and everybody gets it. There's the line right there. Okay, the best bud. You gotta take into consideration too, maybe, that when you smoked it, you worked a hard week that week, you were tired that night, and when you smoked it, it hit you different. You know, maybe you were a little exhausted. You're, okay. Maybe you're a little stressed. Okay, okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. Let's talk about, let's talk about the, when people say, oh, uh, like the, you know, you can, like three to five joints a week. What do you say to the rest of us who have been smoking for 45 years? Yeah. Do you think you get, is it the same as somebody who puffs once a week? Somebody who puffs once a week. You don't think they get a little higher because it's because the receptors aren't already oh, full? So. so when, right, so somebody who doesn't smoke all week, 
doesn't have any receptors in their brain with THC in them. But somebody who smokes puffs a couple times a day always has those receptors locked in. Therapeutic, yeah, therapeutic level. What do you think about that? That's a reasonable factor. Yeah, so Chuck, this guy says he smokes four grams a day. Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me it matters. This is what, this is really that point that I'm trying to make. The things that you guys focus on have exactly dick to do with the reality of the situation. That's why we can watch this guy's video and, and it's mesmerizing the things that Pinball's they bank. say. And I literally set it on the floorboard of my car, drove it back to New York City, walked it into my house, took it out of the kitchen table, to, I was gonna throw it out, and as I took it out of the bag, I literally smelled strawberries. Get out of here. I'm like, this is oh! Literally. Literally, okay. There's only so much of that I can take. <laughs> I have seen more of him than I have seen of the Kardashians in my entire life put together. I've seen more of this guy already. Um, Love the story. On his floorboard, drove it to New York. Love it. Oh. And in a, in a Dixie cup or a paper cup, a little this piece of weed, it was about the size of my pinky nail. He, and it was a, he's like, I'm sorry, this is all I have left, you know? And so he, he, he offered me to smoke it. Of course, I smoked it, but I couldn't really judge it at all because I was already completely blasted yeah and uh so this so is your first exposure this is my first exposure to the strawberry cough and i just politely yeah that was good and, and as i'm going up the stairs he's like hey man he's like you want a clone and i turn around and in a, in a dixie cup or a paper cup a little drink cup was a little plant about two or three inches tall and the surface area was maybe about two inches across was just a little tiny clone like this big and it was with the cup, it was four or five inches tall, four dwarf, inches, little, little tiny little dwarf. Clone, and he says, hey man, you want a clone of the cough? And I just, I took it out. I didn't really want it, but I took, it was like when your friend so said, you want to take home some pieces no of my wife's cake? Clone. You take a piece yeah. of the cake with you. He put it in a paper lunch bag. It was real small, a little paper lunch bag. And I literally set it on the floorboard of my car, drove it back to New York City walked it into my house, took it out of the kitchen table, to, I was gonna throw it out, and as I took it out of the bag, I literally smelled strawberries. Get out of here. I'm like, this is not possible. And I like, I smell the bag again, and the bag smells like there was a pint of strawberries in there. And I'm like. Oh, he sprayed some strawberry, some strawberry Lysol in there. Yeah, a little strawberry shit, bathroom shitter spray. <laughs> um. You know, if you say it's not about the THC, it's about the Terps, that's fine. But you jump right back to this picture, you know, my, the drawing, and the Terps are even, I mean, if THC is 23%, Terps are 0.2%, 0.03%. You know, Terps are an even smaller differentiation between the strains. And if you guys are like, oh my God, I wait till half the trichomes turn brown, um, then what are we talking about? You're waiting for the plant to ripen. So when it ripens, you don't even know what the fuck it's really going to be. You don't really even know what the fuck it's going to be. I'm just, all I'm telling you is that you could smoke a different bud every morning and you would guess what it was half the time. As long as the question was Indica or Sativa, you would have to guess and just, you just guess Indica every day and you'd be right half the time or something, right? But you couldn't do any better than that in the long term you you can't know anything about the bud by looking at it and you can say whatever the fuck you want i mean you might be able to look at the bud and go yeah it's it's got a little more of the sativa to it but you tell me where on the sativa line it is is it 30 percent sativa 70 percent indica is it 70 percent sativa 30 percent indica it, fuck that you can't know dick about a bud and you can know even less about the terps Oh, it really does smell and taste like strawberry. No, it's very impressive. All I'm saying is that this smells like diesel, and that smells like fruit stripe, and indica smells like B.O. from 1984. I'm just, I'm just saying, a lot of bud has smell. Hell, even border weed smells like brown. They all have a smell.
<laughs> I, I, I did, I'm like, I'm doing a Scooby-Doo. I'm like, sure. this guy set me up. Or I'm, for, I'm thinking, I'm like, no, there's no way. I saw him pull the bag. I was, and that's when I decided I had to grow it. So I worked for High Times now, and I got a lot of free equipment. And I was doing product reviews. So I had to give them to people to try. So I went and I found my friend in New York City. I'm like, if you want to keep getting free equipment, you're going to grow this. Ah, uh, you guys scream at me because I don't grow. Several years later, he was able to sell clones to people all over New York City. It became the biggest, one of the biggest sellers in the New York City delivery scene. And several years later, it was in Children of Men. It's yeah, all that's strawberry yeah, coffee. Whatever that yeah, is, yeah, you know? that's where I saw I it. I saw that and I was just like, holy shit, that is cool. I replayed it like 10 times. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then, I guess, driving from New York to California with a trunk full of clones and giving them out in about six cities along the way to every place. I, that's how it was. Where'd you get that? Kyle Cushman. Where'd you get that from? Kyle Cushman. And it's Where'd you from get that this, from? And it's from this, this It's guy, from this, right. From this tiny little grow, paint can grow. Right, right. And, and I didn't hear from him for 15 years. About six months ago, I get a phone call, and I need he's like, feet. you probably don't remember me. And I'm like, no, I do. How have you been? He's like, oh, man, like, why haven't you called me all these years? He's like, yeah, Stewie said I should call you. I just never wanted to bother you. And long, long, long story, I talked to him for a half hour, found out how he's doing and everything, and the whole while my New York hairs are standing up on the back of my neck, and I'm like, you know I've never made any money off of this, right? Is that ice he's in like, that oh, no, I just, I just wanted to know how you were doing. He's like, honestly, man, you know, around wow. a floodlight, wow. and, you know, the pop, the New York City delivery scene. Then I get all that, and I was just like, holy shit, that is cool. I replayed it like 10 times. Yeah. And, and then I get phones and giving them out in about six cities along the way to every place. I, that's how it was. Where'd you get that? Kyle Cushman. Grow, paint can grow. Right, right. And, and I didn't hear from him for 15 years. About six months ago, I called, get, oh man, like, why haven't you called me all these years? Back of my neck, and I'm like, I just knew something good would happen from it. And my heart literally melted. Oh, I mean, my heart literally oh, melted. And I was so happy to hear from him. Oh, and I got his number so again in my phone, man. and I hope I'll get him out here to California at some point, you know? Um, is this, is, have you told this story? I, this is no, like this the is the first time I've ever told this story. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I was going to say, man, I've been following you a while, and I didn't, that is, that is outrageous. Yeah, that's, it's really, really, really cool. <laughs> that's neat, man. It's, 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 uh, it, it, that's coming full it's circle. It's heartwarming and yeah. neat. Yeah. That, that, that's that's neat. coming back full uh, circle. It's amazing. I, I, I feel really, really uh, blessed that my life. Yeah, that you took somebody else's strain, Johnny Appleseed, transported across six state lines, and distributed narcotics. <laughs> and won a cup with it, I think. He, did he grow it? I think he's one uh, cannabis cup with, I don't know what strain he used with, but if he did, he won it with somebody else's strain. With somebody else, yeah. He, he won it with somebody else's strain, that's great. No, he drove it across state line. Oh yeah, he took no, yeah, he took it back home with him to throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> I wish my name had cushioned it. White widow fem. White widow fem. Clone, clone, clone. Didn't we look at these? Didn't we look at these sticks last week? I think I looked at those sticks last week. Prodigy, don't you have some video? Don't you have something current we can make fun of you about? Come on, Prodigy. You gotta have something. Oh, damn it. You can't, uh, nope. Uh, oh, here we go. It takes forever for that canvas, 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 because the amount of pictures is on it. What's it, what's deal on a CO2 controller? Um, I don't, just go to eBay and get one. I don't really have a deal on one. If you go to eBay, if you go to eBay, let's see, we got CO2 monitor controller. There's a, there's basically two types that you, well, three types. One, it's just handheld or goes on the wall. It doesn't actually control the CO2. It just tells you how much is in the room. Then 
you can turn the CO2 on and off with just a regular timer, like a tab timer. Then there's the CO2 that uh, you can set it for to a PPM fix. So it goes up to 50, however it comes, it goes up to 1500 and stops. So here, this one right here, Titan Atlas one, and then we're gonna want Titan Atlas, was it two or five? Titan Atlas. Uh, well, we had the one that you can't program and the one that you can program, right? So Titan Atlas, let's see, there's, so this one here, it does two rooms. These guys, these ones do two rooms, uh, but okay. All right, this one here. So 449, this goes inside the room. This goes outside the room where you can see it. I don't, it can go inside the room, I don't care. But you can program the range. So let's say you don't need 1500 PPM of CO2 because that's crazy. Huh, I almost thought somebody was back there. I thought I just saw a shadow go by. Uh, so let's say you want, let's say you want the room at a constant 900 average. Okay, with this one right here, you could program it, the CO2 to come on at 700 and to shut off at 900. That'll give you 800 on average. So you can program the range versus the one that just has the this thing right here, which is $200 less. It's just that. And it is it comes on at 1250 and shuts off at 1500. You don't have a choice. So depending on what level of control you want, you could just get a, you could just get a, you could just get a ten dollar tab timer. Yeah. <coughs> oh, here we go. You could just get a tab timer. Thank you. come up okay so the opposite would go down uh, no it looks like it's uh, four anyway so you could just turn the co2 on and off and then walk in the room <clears throat> and you'll be able to feel when there's co2 Oh no, I don't look for ways to improve my grow at all. See, that's just it, prodigy. It's a plant. That would be like saying, I'm always looking for ways to drive my car more efficiently. I mean, you don't even think about it. You get so much yield for so little work and so much money, so little money in electricity that you don't care anymore. The focus becomes on doing less, which is exactly the difference where the where, where Lone Villain and I diverge. Lone Villain does less, and because of it, he puts his plants in a bigger bucket and grows fewer, bigger plants. It's brilliant. But he's been doing this for a long time and having a lot of success for a long time. Where Prodigy, has it, it, his experience is just miserable because the answers are out there and he's been searching for them for so long. Go look at his, in fact, let's do that. In fact, let's explore Prodigy. Let's see what Prodigy has in store for us. What does Prodigy have in store for us? Anything new on his channel? Yeah, but heating with propane is CO2. Okay, so one week ago. So this was the same nonsense. Okay, so he hasn't... We're just waiting to see when Prodigy puts up his next set of videos, is Prodigy going to pay attention to the canopy and make the leap 
you know, take it to the next level where he's getting the yield that he's supposed to, which is probably close to double than his last harvest. Is he going to make that leap? Now he had, he had, if you go back here in one of these videos back here, he had clones and oh, he, one of these videos back here, he had clones and we were just making fun of him for the clones that he had because he was telling us, boom, boom, they're so awesome. Remember he had those clones up on that shelf? <laughs> Meanwhile, he's got the little tiny, let's see, I don't remember. I don't remember which one it was, but we were looking at one of these videos and his clones were like 18 inch bean stalks. Here was his last harvest and he did pretty good. I mean, Grow Prodigy should be very pleased with himself. Grow Prodigy should be very pleased with himself. That's too bad I can't find those that clone. He like grew this little section off in the corner with some, you know, Prodigy, Prodigy killed his plants a lot less this time. You know, he did a much better, much better than we've seen in the last 11 months, but it does look the same as he did a year ago. He's went through all those nutrients. He's went through everything and he ends up in the same place where he was a year ago because he has focused on everything but the reality of the situation. He gave a sneak peek in his last video, this one right here. He gave a sneak peek, God damn it. Ugh. Yeah, it must have been real sneaky. Maybe it's the one before this. <laughs> Go back, you passed it. Great. Okay, okay. Oh. Go back, I passed it. Go back, I passed it. I hate you guys. Beginning or end? Is that it? That's not a garden. Don't you? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can't be talking about this. You cannot be talking about this. Matt, first off, that's not a garden. I just pH'd my runoff. They can't be clones. And it's not a garden. Oh, he opens the tent briefly. He opens the tent briefly. Oh my God, he unzips the tent. You, None of you guys can give me the time. It... it they look dead. I'm sure they look dead. Oh, come on. Ugh. No more sulfur probe. No? Because you buy a big bag and then you put a little thing in there. And you only sell them one time during the year and it's monsoon season. Right. And we had non-soon season this time. I remember we sold the last of that stuff. That 
we could probably get it on eBay. I'll, I'll order. I can order us a little sleeve of it, and then we just put it in little drug bags. <laughs> Selling dime bags of of sulfur prills. <laughs> Probably have to be somewhere like uh, outdoors, Mendocino, Mendocino and Third. Forresty. Forresty, yeah. I was just on it. Ugh. We're at the one hour mark. This would be a good time to go to the uh, thrillboss.com and look at all the fine products they got. <laughs> Every hour on the hour. Oh, come on. God, this is why this is why I keep saying anybody who hides stuff, you just do it's just douchebaggery. It's all douche oh whoa. Boom. There it is. See what I recognize? It's all douchebaggery. Oh, 643. Okay, I got you. I'm right there. Look at that. I try to do my... Listen. Why don't you call on the show? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Ugh. All right, you ready? You ready? Oh, I think I missed it. God damn it. Okay. All right. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I've got to slow down a quarter speed and you still miss it if you're not focused. Focus. 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 What? Huh? The Six to the four to the three. Thank you. It's coming up. It's coming up. Ugh. Okay. You guys, uh, you guys. Tell you, why don't you guys give me your opinion? Think about this for a sec. Let's look at this. You guys look at this. You guys, you should already, you should already know. You should already know. You guys should see it in the picture. You don't even need to see the picture. You just have to know prodigy. You just have to know Prodigy. Yeah. So, you know what, uh, Tiberius? You get to be a moderator. Too much light. Interesting. Need to trellis nine plants in a four by four. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand why you need to trellis nine plants in a four by four. But if you go to photo submission right here, and you look at, you look at, Power SI is legendary and keeps nodes tight and works great. From a guy who's still got a shitty grow, I 
I just, I'm just, I'm just waiting for you guys to finish putting comments in there. I'm just waiting for you to finish putting comments in there. Meanwhile, I'm just sort of gathering my deposition. You know what I mean? Woo! Woo! Wow! That's a good looking plant too. Chewy man. Nice bush. What's this? Tiberius. Oh, you're the dude right here. Good for you. Um, uh, Tiberius, tell you what I'll do for you right now. Uh, Tiberius, let's do this. Um, I'm going to open up your thing right here. I'm going to open up your account, okay? And I want you... Oh. Sorry, you did. You did. You already did. You did. I was specifically going to ask you to turn that plant into this one. Good job. Now, here's the problem you run into. Do you think this node or this node is ever going to catch up? And I don't know what's going on with the tips of your plants here, but they are just chewed to shit. But do you think that that this, this node this node or this node is ever going to catch up to here. Therefore, you would either have to take off these three nodes or you would have to take this one, not fim it, you would have to cut it way down here so all you had were these nodes right here. And by taking the apical in its entirety, I mean, even if you waited three days and then took it and used it as a clone, you would have to remove that top if you want these nodes down th this these two here and this one 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 if you expect those to catch up this top shoot you must top it not fim it you could bend it over but you're not going to get that expansion that you're looking for because once you get all of these bottoms right here to come up whoop then you fim those because they're all at the same level of canopy okay i was going to i the thing that i always like to remind you guys is oh i got so much plant but when you strip it and you turn it into what you actually want in a plant it suddenly get much smaller So whatever's in this bag here, if it's a seed, it doesn't need to be in a bag. And if it's a clone, you're going to give either one of those things the same amount of light as this one plant. It's very dangerous. Ooh, there you go. That's a fun little three-month veg, right? I mean, that's a, fun, that's a three-month veg. Look at the stalk down here. Look at the stalk. That is a three-month... Look how... Look how old that stock is that is a three-month veg that somebody salvaged from overwatering because even now it's still in too big of a bucket whoa here you go you got another prodigy you can tell me whatever the fuck you want but if your plant doesn't get bigger than the bucket you failed and you have too many plants so basically you have way too many plants and you still fucking failed Oof. Woo. Now. This poor bastard. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You know what? We're going to save that one. Just, just drop that. Drop that. Just drop it. I was just looking for this picture. Now, I just a picture. Not this one. This is from, uh, who is this? This is from uh, Zergbong. This is from Zergbong, okay? This one right here is from Zergbong, okay? And I just, I just want, I want you to look at this picture. Okay. Oh, that really was short, okay.
Fuck, did I miss it again? Yeah, it's certainly not at 6.43. Okay. Oh, my God. Video membership for Abdullah. Boom. Oh, damn it. I got distracted. God damn it. Okay. Okay. No, I want, I want the shot. I want the shot. I want the shot. I want, I want to own it. I want to own it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't get. Okay. I, 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 I understand where you're going with too much light. I do. I feel you on too much light. Okay. But there's still more to it. Three hundred a day, huh? Uh, whenever I use the space bar, it always gives me a double and a start and a stop. And if you do it anywhere other than the pause button, it is a delay. Okay. Zerg. Oh, we got Zerg Bong on here. Hey, welcome to the show. And you're a moderator, so you've been here before. But I don't remember the name, so good job. Um, what I want, what I want you guys to feel is 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 the plant count is the plant count that Zerg you, you can see the buckets down here uh Zerg has uh Zerg has a lot of plants because they never get bigger than the bucket the problem is is if you start 20 plants off and you veg them for three weeks you take 10 out you just throw them away the 10 that are in there, you veg them for another week. Those 10 will never ever be anywhere near as big as if you started with 10 and finished with 10. They will never ever, when you put too many plants in, and this is, this is all IGS, this is all immediate gratification syndrome, on Grow Prodigy. He could not let go of plant count. But hey, we saw what his clones look like. And that's just plant count. I, I see burnt tips on the edges. I also see chicken claw. You guys see it as too much light. I see intervenal color change on the leaf. I see darker green at the bottom. Too many plants. He's doing too much again. He is going for quantity over quality. And then, soon as you look right in here, you'll start to see purple in the leaves. The outside edges here, you can, you can, the, you got the start of the leaf changing color, individual leaves. You've got dark leaves on bottom. You've got very bright, curled under leaves from too much light at the top. And, and very specifically, see this bucket right here, this one bucket, just this one bucket right here. I just want you to focus on this one bucket right here. Tell me about the plant in that bucket. You guys tell me about the plant, this one plant. Put your answers in all caps. Tell me about this one plant right here. Uh, no, 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 I don't, listen, I don't care what, I don't care what you tell me this thing, this abomination 
I don't care what the fuck you classify that fucking thing in your garden. I know what I classify it as. I classify it as snake oil. I classify that plant as you passing off a canopy like you know something. You have far too many plants. And now anybody tell me about that one plant. Soon as you have to, listen, if you just covered up the rest of it and just looked at that one plant and the bucket, you would know everything you need. You would see, I, I, you, you see, but you don't observe. Uh, you observe, but you don't see. I don't know, whichever the fuck the way Sherlock does that. Uh, Gary, you know what, Gary? I like your answer, Gary. You are now a moderator. Mag deficiency. You know what? I will take mag deficiency and make you a moderator. However, it is absolutely not mag deficiency. Yes, there is mag deficiency, but it has nothing to do with anything that the growers, I mean, it has nothing to do with the plant not getting enough mag. The plant's getting more than enough mag. This guy, is, this dude's just killing his shit by overwatering them and giving them too much light. And that's why he has a plant that's bigger than the bucket in veg. And it doesn't even look like it's about to branch out. Soon as you see a plant that's a beanstalk and doesn't branch out, what do you automatically know? They overwater. Okay. Now let's go back up here to this corner and let's look at this branch right here. This is veg. Okay. This is veg and there are, and cannabis is fractal. If you grow a branch, it will turn into a plant on the end of that branch. Everything will look the same. It's fractal. Whether you look at a clone or the entire plant, it is the same. Cannabis is the same. It does not matter the size of the plant. It is a repeating pattern. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you do this right, go watch Welcome to the Grow Tent. It's a repeating pattern. Okay. Super tuck the leaves. Okay. Plant is hungry. I don't know. Um, so, anybody who has a plant in veg that's not bigger than the bucket and is beanstalk, you know that are, those are both signs and symptoms for overwatering. The plant's not bigger than the bucket, so you're going to overwater. The next thing you know is about the grower. He doesn't know not to drop that plant. See, earlier we had said if you put 20 plants in and then you move 10, you know what I mean? You take 10 out, the other 10 will never be as big. And I said you would start with 10. But the reality is you would start with 11 because you would throw the weakest one out. You know, you take 13 cuttings, drop one into veg, drop another into flower, and that's not the same thing as having so many plants. Now, I'm just bringing this picture in. I'm just bringing this picture over. I just want to bring this picture over. When you look at these plants, uh, you get that stalky feeling. It doesn't branch out. Sure, the top leaves could look like they're big and green, but it's not. It doesn't get that branch shape, and yet the plant, the, uh, the bushy shape, and yet it's not topped. See, this plant is not topped, right? So how the fuck come there's no branches down here? Why are they so far apart? Now, we should see some branching. It's not top, but it's still really sticky. We still see the bucket. This garden, in one quarter of a second, is no better than his last garden, or this garden right here. It has more in common Welcome to the Grow Tent. 
just pick one of these guy one of this guy's video. Just pick some second with some plants in it. Okay, now. You can't tell how many plants are in this picture. You don't know how many plants are in this picture. Now, you look at this one and you immediately said too many plants, too much light, it's sticky and stocky. You look at this one and you say the same things. Huh, very dark green with a different color leaf at the top. It also has the yellow tops characteristic. Yellow top, stocky branch, 100% characteristic. It's chronic overwatering. He's been doing this for a long time. In, in one instant in time, this garden has everything everything this garden and this garden have everything in common and yet this gar prodigy's garden has absolutely nothing in common with welcome to the grow tent it has nothing in common with welcome to the grow tent When you look at this garden, do you feel more like this garden or this garden? And uh, the, I listen, six months ago, four months ago, two months ago, I had the same thing with Prodigy's videos. You would never have that many plants in that situation if they looked as good as these. You're doing a pheno hunt. You don't even know how to grow a plant. Look at those plants. Welcome to the grow tent. Woo! Okay, here's another prodigy. This guy's called Captain Save a Clone. Now we just went through that entire thing where I just told you about that nonsense about what? What did I just tell you? I mean, listen, some most of you fuckers should get this one right. HPS messes up the photo filter. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't give a shit what your photo filter looks like. I don't, the, the, you got code brown, man. There, there is no garden. There is no winning garden. I, 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 you, listen, you're, you're, you're a moderator, so I assume you're new to the show. But shit, I could have made you a moderator earlier today. So I just want to point out to you that there is... that there. Oh, you don't have... I should have, oh, you got to undo the security so we can look at your, you, there is nobody that grows this that's winning. You can't tell me that you know anything when your garden looks like that. There is nothing for you to say except, uh, I'm listening, I'm listening. Otherwise, you should hang out with Prodigy because he will teach you how to fail for three years and still going strong and not just fail. Some people can learn one thing at a time. Some people like Welcome to the Grow Tent can do all of the things simultaneously. And there are some people that are like Prodigy and and this dude here, Captain Save a Clone, that can't ever learn anything. And and then and then there's Captain Save a Clone, which is a pretty quiet, mellow guy. And then there's Prodigy who insists on telling us all about how much he doesn't know. Uh, uh, I already closed this video. Now, look at these plants. And you tell me, what do you notice? And not just what do you notice. I want you to compare it to something else that we've had on the show. So there's two parts to the question. This is why everybody else says webcast sucks because nobody can stand on the other side of the mountain and work their way backward through the problem. I want you guys to tell me 
not only what the problem is, I want you to tell me who else has had this problem. <laughs> because we've solved this problem and had the discussion about it before. We have done both. Leave it in all caps so I know it's for me. <clears throat> oh, Zerbong. Zerg. Okay. Listen, Zerg. Choose the form of your destructor. Dude. You are so fucking funny. At first I was like, oh, he's at it again. And yet, and yet, it is perfectly timed. Good for you. Andy, man, you know, why can't you leave comments for me in all caps? Why do you make me work so hard? <laughs> hey, Prodigy, as much as the Grow Boss talks about you, that you'd at least try it his way once, you know? Listen, you don't even have to, you don't even have to try it my way. Just go look at Welcome to the Grow Tents results. I mean, that guy is like the embodiment of what I'm telling you, plus he likes to make videos. Hermy can be related to a weak strain. No. No. See, that's the thing. If you say it's a weak strain, then does a good grower get Hermes? Okay. Yeah, sometimes. But usually Hermes are associated with problems where the plant can't even make it through flower and it just goes to seed because it's going to die. They look like plants from the guy from your clone video where his bucket was that huge clay pot. Uh, <clears throat> um, uh, see, this is where Prodigy, this is where Prodigy fails. Uh, his way requires a veg time like what I just did two months. No, 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 it doesn't. My way doesn't require that because all you have to do is go to the pictures on my page here and then, and then all you have to do is scroll down and look at somebody like, like, uh, this, see, this is Gavin. We should be able to get it from Gavin, but we also have, <clears throat> oh, here we go. But we also have Bryce. Now you want to talk about, you want to talk about an example of, of how to get her done. Uh, light too far. It looks like they were water shocked. Interesting. I've never said water shocked, but that's a fun term. Slight chronic overwatering. Plants never branched out. Canopy is half empty. It's yes, and I see what you're saying about half empty. Uh, and 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 mathematically, it's probably worse than that because I always tell you you need like five to ten nodes or so down the branch, depending on how much penetration you have from your light. But this is just straight. I mean, this is just straight palm trees. There are no lower branches on these. On these, And that's the problem that Prodigy runs into. When you put a stick into veg, it's never going to branch out. And if you don't know, that plant's not going to branch out. And if you don't know to take it out at that point, we all know what problem you're going to run into later. Which is why Prodigy says things like, I don't want to have to veg as long. And Gavin Dempster will, Gavin Dempster will, will do this in four, five, six weeks. I mean, he grows them big. Super slow. God, I hate my slow ass. That's why he has legs underneath his plant like that. That's why his canopy, that's why they get so big and wide and lush like that. But you can't, fuck, you can't ever experience 
that kind of success, Prodigy, because you don't grow quality plants and veg, which is exactly why I keep telling you, the last thing a good grower learns before they become a great grower is how to stop killing their plants. And once you learn that, you'll turn into Bryce, who has five plants in a five by five somewhere on this fucking page. Yeah. But anybody, anybody who has this many plants <clears throat> and does anything other than a sea of green, which is a less than less than one week veg and you're flowering. Anybody who has this many plants in veg for longer than a week doesn't know how to grow. You are killing your plants. They should never look like this. And yet every time we look at prodigies, they look just like this. This is the other problem that we were having. Uh, they have a cream for that. They look like too tall. Nope. Or that thief that took D Nug's branches. Um, video too tall for Nevada State Agriculture. I'll make the desert as green as my grow. Uh, you don't see that's just it, prodigy. You don't get it. Yes, I know that, guys, but I told you I'm killing off the whole crop after this run. I keep telling you they're already dead. You grow dead plants. You just haven't quite put that together yet. Oh, you are the, uh, I see dead people. Who is that? I see dead people. Is that 12 monkeys, three monkeys? I see dead people. And it turns out that he was the dead guy all along. Prodigy doesn't know he's the dead guy. Now this one right here, uh, I should have clicked on him when I saw him. When I saw the grow, I should have clicked on it. Okay. You know, God damn it, Bryce, you fucking rock. I hate my internet. I hate my internet. Yeah, that that is. Oh, oh, uh, you know what, Ed? I like. I didn't want to play it because I'm like, oh, your plant's so shitty, and you do such a good job. But now that I see, it's not actually. I don't think this is actually your video. Okay, so close that. Go back here. Hit that up. Stop it. I'm looking for. Oh, here we go. Tonji. Okay, that's in hydro. It, it is. It is absolutely ninety-five percent less yield than you're supposed to get. Ninety-five percent. Look how far apart the nodes are. Uh, right here, they're six inches apart. It's hydro. The whole point about... Where do nodes come from? Nodes are branches. Where do branches come from? Branches, the more air at the roots... I don't care about oxygen. The more air at the roots, the more branches per inch. There is no... There are branches, but there are no nodes. It's... It just can't ever turn out right. Now, when we look at Tone G, when we look at Tone G from a long time ago in a galaxy far, far, far away
Oh, I didn't. Who did you block? I don't even see anybody that got blocked. If I'll unblock it for you. <laughs> see you, prodigy. Uh -huh. I assume we're going to see you same place three months from now. See, Tone G has a great looking garden. But what you don't know is that when Tone G and I first started, look at that. You can't tell how many plants that is. There are no runaway spears. That is, could be one plant per, you know, top. Could be four tops. One plant could be two plants in that space. You don't know. And look how low it is. That's like the lower door seam too, right? Because it curves up. So look how low it is. Okay. The last of the two tall leans. Quick update. You already feel it? You already feel it? All right. Quick update. Sorry about how these. can be shaped up. Yeah. I think I'm going to hold on to them in this pot for a little while longer. Get them nice and beefy before I transform them. That, and I got the... The next 12... I'm staking right now. I figured you'd get close enough in, kind of, for you to see. Fill it out nice. How sticky that is. See how sticky that is right there? Does that not? Oh, no, no, no. So here's, uh, so here's Tone G, sticky. If you laid them open, they would be, there'd be no branches. Plus they got the palm tree top, so you know they're over water. But sticky, sticky. However, in this particular case, in, in both of these particular cases, I do don't necessarily put this up to overwatering. I don't. Uh, it's possible in this one because the tops are so much lighter. But uh, here on this uh, here on this one, however, the tops are not lighter. However, when I met this grower, this was the salvage of what he was already doing. We were kind of working through what he already had. Uh, the term stalling balling. And it's how long it takes to get your garden up to where it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? On point, on lock, you got it going on. So, ah. Now, this sticky, this has, a, this has a lot of branches. But they never noted up. But there are a lot of branches from early on. Uh, something could have gone wrong from whatever container it came out of to go into this one, whatever it is, whatever it is. 
if this is the grower doing something, they don't recognize that they're getting 95% less yield than they should. <clears throat> this guy's missing 95% of his yield. Of course he is. He's missing 95% of the bud. But then he's missing 95% of the nodes. So where are you going to put the buds if you don't have the nodes? Now. What. What I want you guys to do. Is in life. Uh, you know. You remember the game uh, concentration. You lay out all the cards. And you got to remember where the pairs are. Ha! Ha! Pairs. Ha, I saw that. Two carrots. Ah. Okay. I want you to be able to free associate. I want you to be able to take Captain Save a clone and match it to new guy, Zerg Bong. Or nope, not that guy. <laughs> that guy's fucking rocking it. He is he is he is probably five four and a half weeks into flower. Look how long the buds are. He is deep into flower. And that bud and the, uh, just a couple are just barely breaking out right before he goes into finish. I mean, that's got to be end of week four, start of week five, right? I mean, that can't quite be six yet because they're paling. They're not, maybe, uh, maybe it's getting a little, uh, week five, uh, five and a half coming up on six. Yeah, five and a half coming up on six. Just start five and a half coming up on six. I have not watched the South Park pandemic special yet. I have just been so in the zone with my other books, with my other stuff I've been doing. I have just let everything go. Um, okay. Um, there are there are certain fundamentals, okay, uh, and and what I try to do, <clears throat> whenever I see a problem, what I try to do, is I try to identify the problem, and and listen, I ran into a problem where somebody wanted something, and I just, I didn't make it my problem. And it, it actually became a problem later because I didn't actually make their problem my problem and solve it because we were we were hanging out and it became a problem. Okay, I didn't take responsibility. Now, what I do that no other grower or webcaster can do is I take responsibility for your garden. I take responsibility for your garden. I do not take responsibility for Captain Save a Clone being with me for three years and still can't figure it out. I do not take responsibility for a grower like Prodigy who's unable to make the step, who's unable to take that last step. However, I will take responsibility for helping you get your garden there. That's all I can offer you. That's all I can offer any of you. Now, chopsticks and toothpicks. Yeah, chopsticks and toothpicks, chopsticks and toothpicks, chopsticks and toothpicks. Right. All of those things together take you down a path that there are sort of two ways that you could get there. Might it be a strain? It might, but until you grow it correctly, you'll never know. So Tone and I had the discussion. He said that he wanted to save that strain. And I said, good, just start growing it better. And maybe it'll fix itself. Maybe it won't. But at least grow it right and stop killing it. And then you have Captain Save a Clone, who I suspect is overwatering because he's doing this in Hydro. And then we run into uh, whoever this is overwatering. And then Prodigy as well. Now, I would like, there are things, there are things, there are things, 
and clues that you can use. Uh, listen, I would solve. Listen, I would solve America, the United States of America, in one big swoop. I would solve the whole fucking thing. I would solve the whole fucking thing. Now, what I want you guys to really, if you don't get anything else from the show. I, I want you to be able to understand the essence. What is the true nature of the emergency? Oh, come on. Come on. You're such a good cat, but you got to go. Because now I touched you. I'm going to touch my eyes. Okay. Go. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> um. When I look at Las Vegas, uh, I think I can give you, I think I can give you an example, a visual example. Let me see. We talked a long time ago about choosing stocks, right? And I was like, oh, food stocks, what sector do you think is going to get hit? Now, um, I've been playing Sunrun, this first one up here, since it's been at 20 bucks. I, I should have just left Roku alone and that shot up. However, what I'd like you to notice is this chunk of red here in the middle. And that chunk of red is, is a thing for me. Okay, so this one. Now, the reason the chunk of red is a thing is, is I'll read off the stocks to you. And then you, I'll read off the names. And then you tell me which one of these is not like the other. Or tell me what they're all like. Uh, BYD, Boyd Gaming, CZR, Caesars, LVS, Las Vegas Sands, MGM, MGM International, RRR, Red Rock Resort, WYNN, Wynn Resorts, H, Hyatt, HLT, Hilton, MAR, Marriott, WYND, Wyndham. Do you know what they all have in common? <laughs> now, I have purchased puts for three years out from three months to three years out on all of these stocks. I have purchased puts on all of these stocks. And I will purchase more. I will purchase more. You just, you can't do them all at once because the environment changes and the price change. So what you do is I kind of got myself started and then you develop a position. For instance, let me offer you this about Las Vegas. What is the one thing that has to happen for Vegas to work. There is one element that must, must exist in, in a way that no other element accounts for. What is the one element that must exist? It is a specific element. Now Vegas is 200,000 rooms. Now if you've noticed on the list, there are actually two sections. One is, the whole thing is hotels. One is, hotels in Vegas. The other one is international hotel, hotel, hotel chains, Hilton, Hyatt, Wyndham, uh, Marriott. Hookers, heroin, hookers and heroin. No, we still have hookers. Yes, RBD, RDB got it right. The key factor in Vegas is one thing because they say 20% of our, of our guests come drive here, California, uh, Arizona, North, whatever is north of us, whatever dirty hippies are north of us. So they say that's 20%. But I don't think they mean 20%. They can't possibly mean 20% of overall travel because of overall here, because people that fly in from other countries spend a lot more money than Americans, right? That's why they all, that's why when uh, and MGM built resorts in Macau, Mabam, right? Because there are high rollers there and 300 million people in the United States, 1.4 billion, right? So it's almost five times the amount of people. Okay. Now, 
Even if you got 20% of the people to still come despite the fires and the corona and the whatever the fuck. It can not happen without airplanes. Therefore, therefore, what, what happened, what both happened and didn't happen this week in the news about relating to airlines, what both happened and didn't happen in the news relationship with airlines. They let 50,000 some people go. Plus all of the support people. 2,000 people were let go at McCarran. Now, those are high quality airline jobs. If, let's just say, and remember a vaccine is not a cure. A vaccine is a reduction in severity. You are still going to get the corona. Vaccine is merely a reduction in severity. Therefore, what must happen for Vegas to be pre-corona? You must have airline travel. How long does it take to ramp up? Six months go by. So you can't, you have to drug test and bring every, you have to watch the don't touch me video. You can only furlough somebody so long before they all have to watch the videos again. Don't steal. What do you do when the other stewardess puts the little alcohol bottles in her purse? And everybody has the don't touch me videos everywhere, right? Okay. Now. How long does it take to go from, to, and I tell you guys, it's the same shit with growing weed. How long does it take to fuck your plants over? How long does it take for them to get better? And it always is 10 times longer to get better. And it's always 20% maintenance relieves 80% repairs. If the airlines just fired 50,000 people, they just let them go now. 50,000 people. They've shrunk their flight schedules beyond 65%. For Vegas to ramp up, Vegas really has to be Vegas first. Then everybody shows up. You don't show back up to Vegas like, like I went to the wind for the last night of the buffet. <clears throat> I risked it. Whatever. I just, it was crab legs. Okay. <clears throat> I've been uh, drove down the strip a couple of times since then. Woo! They may be at 50% occupancy on the weekends, but it is not 50% Vegas. No, no, no. 50% Vegas would mean everything is up and running and only half the people are there, but everything is up and running. They have now furloughed the Vegas employees. They have now furloughed the flights. That means if Vegas wants to come back, they have to bring back the flights. They have to bring back the entertainment. There was a huge investment in the machine keep going. Huge. So, all of those, and that's happened a couple of times over the last two or three weeks. I've been sort of buying puts for a while. You don't really know where the top is, you know? So I've been buying puts for a while. Now, you look at like Red Rock Resort. There are Palms, which they're trying to sell and it's closed. Fiesta is closed, Texas is closed. Red Rock is not exposed in Macau like Wynn or MGM, but it's not all Las Vegas like Las Vegas Sands, which actually is probably out there too. But uh, Caesars just merged with another company, so they're at risk because they just did a merger. They were hoping maybe they leveraged themselves a little too far. MGM just announced they're taking out another loan. I'm just saying Red Rock Resort selling two of their hotels, sold one, another one's closed, they're selling that. They're locals only. Ain't no, ain't no 
airplanes coming into Las Vegas and they're the least expensive at 17. So if you can get puts at 15 in the money, all it has to do is go down to 15. That's you know, two dollars. It's a small step. You know what I mean? Amazon goes up 100 bucks in a day. Oh, I thought it was a consult. It's a grow book to Canada. Nice. Good for you. It was 49 bucks. Anytime you see 49 bucks, I'm like, fuck, I'm on the hook for an hour. You don't buy the stock. You sell the stock because I, I have been selling the stock by buying puts. I do not own the stock. I am short on the stock. I have bought puts. I owe stock. So all the stock that I've, I've been selling stock. Technically, I haven't sold it short. Technically, what I do is I bought an option because I believe the stock will go down. So I bet other stocks, I thought they were going to go up like Sunrun or Tesla or Amazon. You know, you play the stock stocks that the rich people are playing and making their money off of. Perfect. Okay. Roku. Now, that doesn't mean they're all going to go up. And here's the thing. If even one thing goes wrong, one setback. I don't listen, you could have a vaccine come out, but people are still getting sick and die. What that, that's not what nobody All I'm saying is that people don't read the goddamn sign. Read oh, he's reading it. Oh, he's reading it. Good. Good. Now slap the window and scare him. <laughs> okay. If one thing goes wrong, how, what, what's the effect of the drop? Well, I sold puts, so I don't have to cover them. They just expire. You can only lose the money unless you get in the money and then you sell it. So you, they don't have to be covered. I'm just bought puts. I bought puts. I didn't sell them. I'm not the guy at the other end who thinks it's going to go up selling them. I don't think they grow faster in the right size pot. I don't, I don't ever, I, I would never say that. I think you go too far. I don't say put them in a, the pot because they grow faster. That's not why, that's 100% not what I say. I believe that's what you want to hear, but that is not, however, oh, <laughs> Grow Boss just ordered your book. I'm either already killing it or you're going to be right. In which case I'll come here and bow down. Oh, listen, I don't, I don't want you. I don't, I don't need any of that. I just, you have to yield. You don't have to bow down. You just have to yield in a way that like Grow Prodigy couldn't and, and Budsville couldn't and then did. And in a way that Bryce or Welcome to the Grow Tent or Gavin Dempster never had to. It was easy for them. And then specifically welcome to the grow tent who then learned every lesson before his next grow. No interest in crypto. No interest in crypto. However, I am in Vegas. And to buy one, three, and four, and five year options. See, here's the thing. If the problem isn't solved in three years, it is going to be a bigger problem than you think it's going to be. I have been telling you that 25% of the population must die to solve the coronavirus. It is not because of the coronavirus that 25% of the population must die. Coronavirus is merely the passenger that screamed, STOP! Once you stop the car, they are, the coronavirus is merely the passenger that has to pee and made everybody else in the car stop too. Um, 
Okay, listen, Daniel Terry says, Grow Boss just got your book and read it twice, and I have to read it three times to let it sink in. And I told you guys right here in the introduction, this book has far more information than you can gather from reading it. You must read this book, do the damn thing, and then come back and read it again. Because I make some seriously clever jokes that you can't possibly understand. Yeah, <laughs> I worked that seriously clever. Good job. Good job, girl boss. But when I tell you things like good growers only have two complaints, plants got too big for the light, too tall for the light, girlfriends hate trimming. I mean, I make that joke, but it's only because the best growers say those two fucking things all the time. And I tell you right in here, you have to read the whole thing and then do it and read it and do it and read it. Okay, yes, they're offering good deals to entice people to come to Vegas. However, they are shrinking flights at terminals and and hubs. <laughs> Four months ago, I watched that airline guy, the American Airlines CEO get on and said, we're shrinking by 50%. He had no intention of keeping any of the, any of the employees on. Disney let everybody go. What, what choice do you have? Okay. All I'm saying is that for me, <laughs> for me, when the dam, uh, just the before the dam breaks, uh, I imagine that a little bit of, a little bit of Las Vegas is going to come through. Because now we're talking about getting uh, the little tchotchke printers online and you have to hire people back at the airport. I mean, Vegas has a lot invested in a way that no Atlantic City, but you already knew that sucked. Uh, Pachanga, I mean, the local casino, uh, everybody has a Pachanga, right? I mean, it's a local casino franchise for Indians, I think. But <sighs> airlines, <laughs> of all the shit, that somebody in one of the articles on like the review journal said Vegas is going to remake itself as a locals destination. 200,000 rooms. Even if 20% of Vegas really came from California, they're not going to come for no show. In fact, Wynn just had an article that the show at the Wynn with the thing, the lake at the Wynn, the things come out and they play low rider. And I love that place. Of all the places I go in Vegas, the lake at the Wynn for those shows you always take a date there. You order a $20 coffee from the bar because you're at the win with tip, right? You get two of those, bring your own, get a, whatever. You get to watch, a, you know, they got a show every 15 minutes, a little mini, a little mini, like two minute. And then they got like the, the four or five minute where the, where the, me me the mechanics come out. Okay. It's pretty good. The lake at the win. Now. I, the article yesterday. Okay, so I went to the last. I went to the last buffet at the Win, and I went to the last Lake at the Win show because I like them both. Now, I took a date. Same both times. Now, Lake at the Win is back. Brilliant. I would go see it because it's outdoors. You walk through the hotel with your cootie mask on, right? You go hang out outside, put your N95, go back to the hotel, get out of there. Okay. But you would never fly here for that. I would only do it once every couple of weeks to drive there. And that's because I'm old. Otherwise, I'd go to the beach. Now, when you go in the parking lot and you walk over, you walk over...
Maybe I can get us a map of the wind floor. Okay. Uh, Las Vegas property maps. Okay. Um, we're gonna, fuck, that sucks. Because they don't really have... Is this the win? Oh, that's TI. Uh, win Las Vegas property maps. Okay. All right. I just, just because it's super obnoxious, look at, with nobody in there, look at how vast, vast. I mean, you can't, woo, I got to walk that. Okay. This, this one right here, this picture right here in particular, if you park down there and you come this way, you end up at Lake of the Wind. So you just walk through this, this one little, see this, just this one little road right here. See that one little, okay. Now that road goes all the way around the casino that's as big as a football field. But what they've done is they've roped off everything from like the 10 yard line to, to, the, to the far side, right? So you've got literally two row, one row of tables, a couple of, the the slot machines and the poker machines behind it, the, you know, the, the video games. <laughs> and then the entire rest of the stadium is empty. I, no, no, no. By empty, I mean, I mean, all the, I mean, they're still full of stuff. I'm just, I'm just saying there's nobody in there. It's 90%. I mean, they can say that California and, and Arizona are 20%, but, but those are a lot of hallway. And they're like, oh, yeah, we got 18 months in reserve. Oh, we've tapped some credit. Oh, okay. So I hear 18 months, and then I, I just, I got to ask you guys, if the airlines just let like 35% of their staff go, and the American Airlines four months ago said, unless something changes, what are we going to do? We're a business. We're going to shrink it. Okay. And now he is shrinking it. So we are already trending. Yeah. It is, you now, it's fractal, whether you stop the economy or you stop an airline industry. It's the same thing. Whoop. So how would you get, would you just have 40,000 people show up tomorrow? Or do the airplanes have to be inspected? Does it take 90 days to bring everybody back? Okay, I'm sure it takes 120 days to get all the flights up and running and to bring the airport people back and all the Sabrosa. Is that what that thing is? It's airport Sabrosa, the Mexican pizza place or something? Cuervo? Cuervo? with the... Anyway, how long does it take to ramp all that up? And I think we're still on our way down. So let's say it takes nine months to ramp up pre-Vegas. Do you think that even if they have the flights, you are immediately going to have all those people come back? No, absolutely not. Because they're all doing Zoom, which is on the list right here. There's a ZM somewhere. Oh, it's probably... Oh, I didn't make it on this list. Oh, there's a ZM somewhere around here for Zoom. All right. I don't see any factors that co-inspire in, in favor of Las Vegas. And I keep hearing vaccine and cure together, and it's merely a reduction of symptoms. <clears throat> New York is facing a lockdown again. We haven't, even if, even if people are just having little bursts, is that, a, is that a second wave? Okay, so we have a whole nother second wave. Is that another six or eight months six or eight months plus nine months now we're at 15 months 15 months approaches what some of the hotels have said they have in reserves okay so 20,000 room 200,000 rooms what reserves do they have okay do they start to concentrate them into one that's not very Vegasy. so you lose the magic even if the heroin and the hookers are waiting on your floor No, what, what, the thing about the watering schedule, the thing about the pot size is, I have given you a visual reference. 
And I do that because I am trying to help you guys visualize the process. If you have plants, just when you go to cannabis, cannabis, cannabis.com, scroll down to the bottom. When you look at burnt canopy, bad canopy, good canopy, what I'm trying to help you understand is that if I can see the bucket, you're not doing this right. Therefore, I should never see the bucket. If I should never see the bucket, what, what must happen? Of course, the plant must be bigger than the bucket. Duh. Now, that's one side of the equation. And the other side of the equation is, if the plant's bigger than the bucket, how did it get bigger than the bucket? More branches. Oh, well, buds go on branches. Ah, so the equation balances. I want branches because that's where the buds go. Therefore, if branches cover the pot, I don't want to ever see the pot. Both of those things are mutually reinforcing. Where this, 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 this. All of these things are also supporting right good plants you can't see the buckets and even if you can it's barely there are no code browns when you when you look through a canopy that's full you don't have code brown in a way that you do when you have no canopy and a high plant count so this guy is overwatering and too much light Prodigy's just got too many plants and he's overwatering. No, no. Yeah, healthy plants drink at a healthy rate. Sick plants consume less light, less water, and less nutrients. All you're doing is optimizing them. You're just optimizing the equation. Because if you want more bud, you must. The next thing you must after you add a light is CO2. Because even if you take a light and then you put it on a mover... It's still a light. So the only thing left after a light, even if you put a light on a mover, it's still a light. But now it's on a mover. Is CO2. That's it. So you get a light, you put it on a mover. Brilliant. You get 25% more. The only thing left, you add CO2, you get 25% more. Microbes physically grow bigger roots. Therefore, you will get 15% more healthy plants with microbes they're the lungs of the plant now nutrients are worthless microbes are 15 percent. they grow the roots more root more fruit it never says more nutrients bigger buds although people tell you that but it doesn't rhyme so it can't possibly be true Voting the politicians out is not the answer. It doesn't matter if it's leftist or rightist. It, none of those, none of those, they matter in terms of direction of where, you know, where you want everybody to go, but we don't need to be evil. But what I'm getting at is that the politicians on either side they, it doesn't matter what side they're on because the, the true nature of the problem is very simple. And that is that there is no leader who speaks for the people of the nation. There is no leader that speaks for the people of the nation. It is a very simple answer. I mean, to fix the nation is super simple. It's a very easy problem to solve the United States. We could do it by the time everybody was done getting Corona, the United States would come out uh, with the intelligence of China, the programming knowledge of India. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it is, it is, I, I, I wish, I, I wish we would have started when I told you guys, when I made those videos back in January for you, but, uh, I mean, solving the United States is no problem. 
I, I've been saying for forever since my kids left school that there should be no public schools. They're your kids. The government doesn't need to be involved. There will be local schools. You pay for your kids to go to school. I mean, the government can't solve boys and girls' bathrooms. They can't solve school shootings. The corona solved it all. I would have solved it 20 fucking years ago. You pay for your own kids to go to school. What the fuck does the government care? Man, the government here is to organize the roads to make sure that everybody has health insurance just because we're going to get screwed if we don't. To encourage the development of, of technology like with Elon Musk and to steer the United States. There is nobody who offers those things. It is a simple problem. It is a simple solution to all of the problems that we're having in the United States. And we could be done with them in nine months. We would be done with them in nine months. See, that's my point, is it's fractal. This has already permanently changed how children deal with each other. <clears throat> I would, I almost, I would almost say that I like the girl that I like even more because I liked her before the corona. It's not true. I did like her before the corona, but I don't like her more. But it's not something that escapes me either. Um, Brian, Berger, what, what filters do you want? 100 or 150 and you want the membrane and the, and the carbon filter. Tell me what you want. Um, all, all I'm suggesting is that it's that <clears throat> how far you can see into the problem. Um, are you willing to both see the forest for the trees and the trees themselves and then the interaction of those trees at the cellular level? And if you can do that and you can see that, it doesn't always mean that there's a solution, but that there does mean that there's mitigating circumstances, things that you could do. It's very, it's very loophole lawyery kind of a thing. Um, all I'm saying is that Las Vegas can't come back with the airplane without the airplanes. And I don't think that is accounted for in their stock price. I follow the charts. I don't think that's accounted for in their price. I think everybody is still, I remember I told you guys it's 18 months. Everyone's like, oh, a V-shaped recovery. I'm just saying there's no recovering from this. One fifty and a carbon. So you need one fifty carbon and a sediment. Okay, so if you go to thegrowboss.com, if you go to thegrowboss.com, boom. If you go to RO, we're going to put up uh, and we're gonna do one fifty, boom, and carbon and sediment. So we're at so I have to I think what I have to do is add it to the cart. And then I have to add this one to the cart. And then so we're at $114. We're at $120 with shipping. Fuck, it's the $150. Do you really need the $150? Do you really need the $150? I told you guys the only way you can top the corona is if we had a true alien landing. Violent, not violent, just saying true alien landing. If you need the 150, I will do that for 135 right now. Fuck. It's the, it's the 150 that does it. If you need the 150, you can go to, go to, go to thegrowboss.com. Go down here to Corona Hustle. Put in... 130 bucks, do it for the uh, 150 GPD carbon, carbon and sediment. And you better be in the United States. <clears throat> I don't know what CCP is. You'll know when it's alien. It'll be alien.
all COVID related restrictions will be will be will be lifted. Uh, um, I bought a raffle 728 under a different name. Didn't tell me which raffle or what it's for. Uh, will you be holding the raffle soon? Uh, who knows? I just go through them as they show up. Um, okay. You see the math problem on this, right? It seems to me like Red Rock Hotel, which is Vegas only, has already closed a couple of their hotels and and is selling sold and is sell, sold one and is selling another hotel the palms that that it's good for stock price that's the same thing as wrecking one of the cruise ships and selling it to india to, india to take apart and getting and depreciated on your books because you really sort of run out of cruise ships after the first year you know what i mean you don't want to Salvage the good ones, huh? Okay. Oh, Chinese Communist Party. Uh, I'd have to go back and read all the other comments now. Yeah, listen, I, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something about America that is 100% magical. 100% magical. For some reason, being a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll works in a way that that is straight magic for America. When they say God bless America, God damn it, they are right. Oh, you can't even say it like that. When you, listen, I'll tell you what the magic about the United States is with the Corona. Does it matter if you die now? For most of us, does it matter if you die now or later? No. And you are going to. So if we take dying out of the equation, because you're going to, um, it's just, it's magic. Because now, in the United States, we have taken the pill. It is not stopping. There are hot spots. It is up and down. But let's work this out. At the end of the, at the end of, let's say, next year, in the middle, by June of next year, a a significant portion of the United States will have gone through Corona. You tell me when China can ever open up. Until they take the pill. Do they think that they're just going to close themselves off forever? That they're only going to come out from the bubble and it's it never going to go back in. It don't don't worry. First off, I don't know if you've ever read Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe, but it ain't happening. And when it does happen, if you Fuck nature over. And we all saw it in the movie Final Destination. It's death is a bitch. And death is a motherfucker. And it's coming for you. We all... Oh, I've recognized the pattern on how to avoid it. How long do you think we could keep going? Hang on a sec. Mail's here. Hang on. Do you need a water? You want a water? Take a step back. Take a step back. Back up. There you go. Uh, 
I'm saying is you're going to have to take your pill. You have to take the medicine. There was, I didn't quit my jobs because I didn't think I was never going to get the Corona. I quit my jobs because you, when I was, I had to go to the facilities. I quit my job because nobody seemed to see it coming. So I just whoop, cut out the back door. You know what I mean? A couple of people made it out of the White Snake concert. I'm just saying, whoop. When you watch that thing on Jackass where, uh, where Ryan Dunn and Bam, woof, fell through the ceiling and that black dude ran out of the thing and was down the street before they caught him. Dude, the other people just, whoo, they crashed through the ceiling and watched them fall. The other guy would have been safe. Good for him. All I'm saying is, you can take it now or later. But whether you release the China flu or not, and you know they did because they've been doing that for the last 50 years. Just go listen to Prom Night from Greece Lightning in like 19, from Greece in 1975. They call it the Asiatic Flu. So they've been doing that forever. It's all fractal. I'm betting when I first moved to Vegas, I dealt poker at the stratosphere. I dealt no limit poker, in fact. Now, one of the things that I learned was if there's enough skin in the game, it's worth holding pocket twos. If there are, if you're in the small blind and it comes, you know, if you're in the right before the big blind and it comes, you're the last one in and you know there's 10 players and you got a pair of twos, dude, you always stay in because it's 10 to one. You just, the odds for the money, you're not playing the hand anymore. You are merely putting a dollar on a lottery ticket that's $700 million. Do you think two solar storm 88s can go inside of a five by 10? Yes, that's what they're meant for. He says he has a six by 10, but I say it's a five. Okay. Yeah, five by ten, no problem. That's what they're meant for. Um, you've got to be able to see the cause, not the cough. You have to be able to see what the true nature of the emergency is. And for Las Vegas, I think it's the airline industry. I think that's their Achilles heel. That's what's going to take them down because of the percentage of business that comes there. And it's no different when we look at growing cannabis. Whether, 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 oh, you go Las Vegas, well, they stop the shows. Doesn't matter. It's the airline. Oh, well, Las Vegas, there are fewer hookers, less hookers than heroin. Okay. But the airlines, brought 80% of their res 80% of their business and like 95% of their money because out of towners spend more because it's a thrill thing for them. You know what I mean? The closer you're like, listen, wherever you live, I'm sure downtown is revitalized. Do, do you go there? You know what I mean? Like, and if you do, how often do you really go? Nobody in town ever goes to the strip. See, you don't need a presidential debate. That is another one of those things. You don't need a presidential debate. There's no reason to debate me. You could ask me a question anytime you want. I said, close public schools. What would you like to know about my opinion? Let me tell you this. You will never, ever, ever have to fill out another IRS form in your life. You will never pay state, you will never pay taxes to the state or, or the, the federal government. You will never pay taxes to them again. I don't give a shit how much you earn. I'm going to tax the shit out of you if you try to drive your cars on my road, though. Go put your kids in whatever school you want. I don't care. 
but I'm going to tax you. I won't tax you for school. Won't tax you for school. You want education? Got you. School is free. We will return it on your taxes for you. Because you're going to be paying us for the rest. You know, you'll you'll return it. Well, you'll have a player's card. Oh, you graduated from the government on a four-year program. Boom. When you buy something, this is the card that you use. Oh, you were in the military? Boom. You are this level of citizen. And all of those things support the state and the country, right? So you all, we pay taxes on the services that we use. And then the state is responsible for collecting from the business. Then the state pays the franchise owner, which is, of course, the federal government. Now, the federal government takes that money and they invest in programs. For instance, I will give you autonomous driving in six months. Uh, you can have autonomous driving in six months. 100% guaranteed. Autonomous driving. Not everywhere, but you can 100% have autonomous driving in six months. You just put the little speed bumps in the road like we have now. Give them solar powered. Put a fucking chip in there. Write some programming. Cars can just follow those fucking things. By the time people drive the routes, the gaps that are missing, you can fill in left turns in the intersection just by tracking what 99% of the cars do. That's the magic of Elon Musk's money. He can, he because he has a satellite system, he knows every road where every car goes. And he knows the dead fucking nut center. Because after 10 million cars drive through there, you know exactly what the middle of the road is. Um, no, no, you don't have to. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be taxed to pay for the roads anymore. It would all be in your fuel. <clears throat> I don't care what you drive. Fuel would be eleven dollars a gallon. I don't give a shit what you drive. You know what? It would be eleven dollars a gallon, and it would come with insurance. How's that? You would have basic car insurance when you buy fuel at $11 a gallon. Comes with the road, everything. And then the state takes that money and then that money gets used for roads and you know, a certain percentage, the VIG, goes to the federal government who then gives us more reason to be on the road and more technology for us to move forward with. I mean, I don't see how the government can do anything other than promote with a carrot and, you know, lead everybody behind with a stick. And that's why you don't need a presidential debate because you there's nothing to debate. All you have to do is ask me what I would do and I would solve that problem. Because if you join the military and you fight for the United States, boy, I'm going to tell you, your taxes are going to get real low, real fast on the tax card and your insurance card is going to go up real fast and i will tell you that the united states is a business i will remove all religion from the united states government there will not be the power of local government beyond a few contracts in their area because they can't handle it because they all do for themselves school will be free Higher, higher education is free. You send your kids to public school, wherever it is you're going to do, but higher education is free. Now, citizenship and voting right is based on taxes. If you pay taxes, you can vote. I don't care where you're from. I'm going to solve immigration right fucking now. I don't care where you're from. I won't see you or hear you until you pay taxes or you earn $600 or more. But I don't, the government doesn't, who cares? If you want to come here and make money and pay taxes, what the fuck? You, you citizen, punch chunk. You know what I mean? Like, there you go, citizen. <laughs> United States is a business. Now, if you think abortion is bad, brilliant. Take your fucking money and go advertise and educate the population. But don't involve the government in spending one penny of you guys. Government sets a boundary 
That way it keeps people safe. And then you all can spend money on advertising. Knock yourself the fuck out. Oh my God. I would let all non-offending druggers out of jail. Non-violent druggers out of jail. We would start right there. We would start immediately releasing non-offending druggers. I would, release, I, would, I would decrease prison population by as much as possible. Oh my God. You, you, would, you don't have to pay taxes here in the United States. Now, the government, I think, should also offer uh, uh, health insurance. I think it should offer a limited car insurance and a limited health insurance, and then you can get the add-on pack. So the government takes care of things like a few doctor visits, a ba ba ba. But if you're a smoker, you don't get a lung transplant. If you're a drinker, you don't. I mean, if you want to get on the government, you know what I mean. The, you go maybe private, but I'm just saying. Um. Uh, uh, you just placed an order. Let's see what you got. Let me see if I got it. I got a couple of books and a few other things that I saw go by. Uh, anyway, I'm just, I'm just saying, if if I want to ride a bicycle, I shouldn't have to contribute to road taxes. I don't want to ride a bicycle. Right? The government makes rules for a stadium so everybody can get in and out safely and protects everybody's right. That way we have as few fires that kill as many people as they do in other countries. You know what I mean? Those are some things we can get behind. I'm just saying when the coronavirus started, the United States was on a growth trend. And yet we've had the hugest amount of debt ever. And I understand that debt is a percentage of GDP. I totally get it. And it's good for expansion. I'm just saying that when you look at the MGM example that I just gave you, MGM is issuing $500 million worth of notes. So they have a long term going into the virus. Okay, that doesn't sound one like a short term solution. And two, what happens then? Because if you don't pay me my $500 million, MGM, I'm bust your fucking legs. I mean, you don't think any of the hotels are going to collapse. No chain. I don't know which chain's going to collapse uh, uh, at different times. Sometimes I feel like it's the MGM because they're so exposed in Macau and then here too. And then they're issuing five. So I'll buy like a little bit of like long-term MGM and then I'll be like, oh shit, but the Red Rocks locals only. So I'll buy, I'll, I'll buy a little put for. What's one large problem I have not addressed? Seventy percent of every tax dollar goes to either active or retired military or government intelligence. Seventy <clears throat> percent, huh? That seems like a tremendously high amount. Now, oh, it'll be the same. if that's true, so I'm still, I just sold one of those solar stones on a credit card for seven twenty. Okay, and it matches. His credit, his ID, and everything matches. Okay. Now he wants to do one more on the credit card. No, credit card. I don't even want the one. I, I don't even want the one on a credit card. It's a cash deal. That's what I said. Yeah. So don't even sell the one on a credit card. It's too I much because. I already swiped the card. And he goes, "Well, I want another one if I could do it." No, because it's a scam now. I don't even want the one. Unwind it. Do you do, do you feel like he's a, do you feel like it's a no, scam? No, not at all. Okay, then just one. Yeah. I feel it's a scam. Yeah, he said just one. I wouldn't sell one on a credit card. Was it debit? No, no. Was the first one debit? Hi. Um, hey, you know what? It's just too much risk for me. Okay, then I'll take one back. But, but lights on a credit card are too much risk for a store like mine. Seven hundred and twenty dollar lights. I mean, I probably paid, I probably paid five fifty for each of those. So, on a credit card, it's a over four hundred and ninety nine dollars changes the insurance plan that the credit card offers us because 
We don't ever take credit cards over that amount. So, oh, PayPal, I'm in. Boom. Tell me when he sent it. Oh, oh, I should have put it on the back of the store. God damn it. He's taking uh, two, uh, two of those LEDs. You just have to have them here. I mean, we've had them for 18 months. He showed up. I have not refunded the money yet. Um, okay. Uh, so really, got rid of, God, those things were so cheap. Okay, desktop audio. Did I, did I lose the wireless connection? Okay. Boom. Did we refund yet? Yeah, you do that. Okay, you send thirteen ninety nine, and I'm gonna refund your money right here.
Shit. We'll buy some more shit. Oh, PayPal, how I love you and the money that you securely get me. It is, it is, we are good. Pretty cool. today.
Now I just have to uh, spend the money before Lone Wolf gets it. Oh man, I'm gonna buy a bunch of shit on eBay. Oh no, I have to buy soil. Goddamn Hydro Farm charges $225 a pallet. I saw Public Enemy in concert. Wow. I get another pallet of soil. That's great. I got those two lights. Shit. They probably cost me $300 on average each. Maybe $350. So seven. Got rid of them for $14. Sweet. Doubled up. All I had to do was hold on to them for 18 months. You guys have seen them on the show. I have a third one still. I have another one. But I'll tell you, I we always sell those things, right? We always sell those things two and three at a time, right? Right? I mean, we always sell those things two and three at a time. If uh, if somebody tried to sell me more of those, I would sell them. I'd buy them again. I didn't refund his money. Uh, I did. I refunded his money. I asked him, I go, did he do it? He goes, I think he did. He goes, I'll be back if he didn't. I go, he did. He don't need to. Yeah, I don't need that problem. Um, Sweet. I was happy. My snore feels lighter. Can't you get rid of it? Yeah, I don't have to wait. Now I got a broken one. Now we just have the other one. I'll order a, we'll order a bulb for it. I still got a broken thing. The bulb holds. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. That's the one the guy feed, tried to feed from. Oh, the one the guy that tried that's to. What, that's what sold the light. I told the guy, I go, if you go on the internet, you'll see where the guy tried to steal it from me. I go, this exact light right here. The guy tried to run out the door. I chased him into the parking lot. We scuffled and I fought it, got it back from him. He was like, really? Yeah, all right, man. I want two of them, bro. Because as soon as somebody tried to steal that thing, he's like, Oh, they have a different version. They know how that sleek. It's a new one. Yeah, they got that aluminum brushed if aluminum. Yeah. Yeah. They just put a new body on a old pig. Yes, we're, I'm we're good. Yeah, we'll just go home. Stop right there. I just, when anybody tells you that they grow in hydro, this is, they're growing on a table and it's not hydro, it's a media, you know, it's media, but I don't care. Look at the side, that's a five and a half foot plant coming out of a, a, a block on a brick. Oh, with a good grower. I mean, 
That's second one, right? I mean, that's one second. I'm sorry. What was... No, not him. What was this guy saying? What was this guy saying? Oh, this guy. I was listening to this guy. What was this guy? One second. <laughs> We have selected uh, a number of strains that work very well for us, give us the results that we want. And in order to keep the genetics true from generation to generation through the, the cycle of the plants, we, we start with a mother plant, which is a plant that is kept in the vegetative state. It will never flower. It just produces cuttings for uh, our future production. It's called a mother plant because it's producing basically children. It's producing young plants that will uh, have the same characteristics as the mother. Creepy. We take cuttings that are about three inches long and we, we trim them up to be a uniform size and they are transplanted into the into little cubes to uh, produce roots uh, and kept in a, in a little area of high humidity and lower light so that the, they're, they're little, literally babied along. Those are the baby plants. And uh, so in that initial stage when they're producing roots, uh, that's, they get a different treatment than they will in the, in the next stages. That was the secret sauce. That's why your plants don't grow as good. Because that guy had the secret sauce. The time of harvest, the plants will be cut, the stems are cut, and they the first stage is in the room that they're grown in. They're put into bins and then taken to the harvest room. In the harvest room, the branches are fed into the, the munch machines, which pull the stems away from the uh, the bud and the, and the surrounding leaves. And then from there, we do a, a machine trim initially, and that is, that is followed by an... You tell me the strain. You've been watching this the whole time. What, what strain is it? You are not impressed by the strain at all. You have been very impressed by the process and the quality of the buds on that, on that mill, on the, on the conveyor belt on the belt, right? You have been overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by the process. They got a shutter. Inspection and a hand trim to, to make sure that we have optimum quality of the, of the buds. From that point, they, they go into racks, which are sent into the drying room. And they will, they will stay on those racks on the carts for a week and a half to two weeks. They will go into bins in, uh, in bags that are folded over to, uh, to keep the humidity level constant in the bag. And they're in there for another about two weeks. Our goal at CanTrust is to preserve the terpenes as much as we can so that when a customer opens that bottle and smells for the first time, the, the beautiful aroma of the bud is, is very apparent. And that's, that's why we, we dry in that way and dry at the, the correct humidity and the correct temperature level. <laughs> All right, but we're going to use the shovel. And this, you know, that's a lot, right? Ah, they're sorting by size. That's a big gun safe, right? Sell the store.
<laughs> it's becoming ubiquitous. It's just another thing. I want the solar storm back now. I want. <laughs> Okay, it's 1 o'clock. Listen, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate you guys showing up with the Grow Boss. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always uh, go to my website and buy stuff. Buying stuff will get you 20% more yield. Answer all your questions. You don't even need to speak to me. Uh, thanks, Jackpot. Hit that tip jar. Boom.